everyone should know about him if they watch the video. Akali um, fixed the bug with her attack timing. Using a potion uh, while in Twilight Trial will no longer break her out of stealth. Um, Ash has her frost, slot, frost shot slow changed, uh, which actually was overall pretty much raised up until level 3. Um, then it's lowered, but starts out a lot better. Frost shot no longer stacks with volley. So if, uh, if that means what I think it means, then volley is no longer going to slow people. Uh, volley now shoots less arrows. The bonus damage has been increased by a fair amount, but it kind of equals out because volley is the number of arrows. And accumulate wealth is now hawk shot, which is like a cheap um, clarity kind of. The crystal arrow was changed a little bit, just like fixed basically. So Ash, definitely I think she's gotten a buff because hawk shot is a lot better than accumulate wealth and the slows to uh, the debuffs to her other abilities are not that big. Static field now silences them. That's his ultimate, I believe, um, which is decent. Only 0.5 seconds, but Power Fist is no longer dodgeable. And they added a timer to show you when his passive can be used. Corky's Missile Barrage has been upgraded. Um, it tells you how close to the big one you are, and it adds one missile when you put a point into it. And now it also... Um, Reloads while you're dead. Cho'Goth, Vor Vorpal Spike can be toggled off, which is decent for attacking a tower. Um, he can now properly be considered melee, and they fixed his feast a little bit. Evelyn removed base dodge. Ezreal, they removed the heal component from his Essence Flux ability, which is definitely going to be a pretty big debuff, but they also increase the um, debuff and attack speed, increase and debuff to the other t to your team or their team. Um, Garen, nothing really, they just fixed the bug. Gangplank, uh, parlay was increased, the bonus damage, well, the bonus damage was decreased, but it's no longer dodgeable and is unaffected by blind, which is a buff. Raise morale, um, seems to be a little better, extra damage instead of attack speed. The cannon barrage, the pretty big change here, the damage was reduced, heavily reduced in my opinion, about 40 points at the first level. 60 and then 80 at the last level but the radius was increased by 50 um, which makes the cannonballs actually bigger and the slow amount has been reduced so overall I think it was debuffed but it was pretty damn good as it was uh, Gragas just had a tooltip fix Heimer turret fix his turrets are always acting up Janna um, another debuff here Howling Gale knock up time reduced by 33% um, Jax had empower cooldown change to 5 seconds, which is a buff early, debuff late. Um, Kale, she was a little too good, I think, after her buff, and I think they noticed it too. They reduced her heal um, a little bit, and her Righteous Fury ability power ratio, I think that's the one where she deals uh, ranked or range damage, I'm not sure. And the Intervention cooldown, I believe that's her ultimate? Not too sure. I don't know the names of her abilities, but anyway. Dark Binding now deals its damage up front as opposed to over time. Okay, seems interesting. Right here we have uh, my Ultra Video Joiner joining up my files here for my newest video. I'm going to open up the splitter so I can splitter right now. You guys are going to get to watch that because I'm not going to waste my time doing it after. I'm just going to open it up. Let's see what we got here. Open... League of Legends, this is it. So let's see how long this is. 30 minutes and 20 seconds, that's three parts. So we'll get the splitting going. There we go. Back to this. So Morgana, her Dark Binding now deals its damage up front, which is a little better, I think, so we can see how much, how low you are. Soul Shackle ability power ratio change to 1-1 one, one from 0.5, 1.5. Um, don't think it's a huge deal. Finally fixed Pantheon's Heartseeker Strike bug, um, but they increased the damage scaling. I don't know if that's really good. Um, wow. Okay. It feel Jesus. Damage increase. They really are going to increase Pantheon, Pantheon now that much? Like, holy shit. Spear shot damage scaling increased. Grand Skyfall now breaks spell shields. 
and is blocked by spell shields. They increase the damage. Ugh. Anyway, Pantheon, big upgrade there. Poppy, uh, her ability is dealing with spell shields there. Shaco, um, nothing really. They fixed his jack in the boxes. Teemos, they removed his base dodge. Shen Vorpal Blade healing has been reduced because I think it was a little too much. He was hard to kill as it was. Severe had a bug. Soraka, they're lowering her wish ability again. They're reducing the heal on it and they're reducing the mana cost, but the main thing I think is that they reduce the heal and the ability power ratio is going down. Vager, Viger, however you want to pronounce it, had like a complete redo. Um, Baleful Strike is better because he gains um, ability power from champion kills, dark matter, the time to land reduced, um, base damage reduced a little bit, but the cooldown was reduced too, and the time to land, so I think it's overall better. Event Horizon lowered the mana cost, lowered the cooldown, and increased the damage. Seems good. Um, let's see. Or increase the range, not damage, because Event Horizon is the slowing one, but now he's got even more, or the stunning one, he's got even more range on it. Primordial Burst, um, basically, I don't think he does any damage to non-mana champions. Oh, plus 80% of the combined ability power of Vager and his target? Holy fuck. That's ridiculous. Wow. Okay, so that's a lot of damage. Um, his new passive is amazing. His mana regen is increased by 0.5% for each 1% of mana he's missing. Great. Free chalice. Seems fair. Updated the recommended items. Z who cares? Base movement increased. Great. Base armor increased. Great. Armor per level increased. Great. Um, Spirit Visage healing was debuffed. Uh, Sword of the Divine got a buff. Mercury Treads got a debuff, but it's still amazing. Innervating Locket no longer heals minions. Seems lame. Um, in general, there's some general things here. Champion kill experience increased by 10%. Death timers on Summoner's Rift increased by roughly 3 seconds at lower levels. Summoner spells are now displayed in the scoreboard, which is awesome. Um, teleporter blink abilities will no longer reset the leashing on monsters. Oh, maybe that's if you like flash away, they all keep chasing you. Um, buff bar updated. Duplicate items will no longer sell in slot order and now can be sold individually. Okay. Revamp the character stat screen to include armor pen, magic pen, lifesteal, spell vamp. Yeah. Um, I like the new character stat screen. Um, revealing a channeling champion in the fog of war will no longer show them as idle. Okay. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. The rest of this shit is uh, not that not that important um so yeah that's the release notes hopefully everyone enjoyed this uh me going over them and my new video coming out hopefully you guys enjoy that the volume on this is going to be low and the next video is going to be higher because i don't feel like processing this video call me lazy and uh it's a good reason too because i am lazy see you guys next time